After the first selection, uh, this question will go to Dan. Uh, please state clearly your vision for the future of New Hartford. Uh, my vision for New Hartford is much like the town that I grew up in. I think everybody knows that I, I was moved here by my parents when I was 13, and I've chosen to make this town my home. And uh, I know that we all share that common bond of living here, raising our families here, going to school here. And I can remember the streets as they were when I was 13, uh, and I envision this town staying much the same as it is now. But obviously our obligations are bigger. We have many competing needs. You know, our seniors that, that use this as their home have an interest in the senior center. We've heard from our local board of ed that they have competing needs and, and renovation money for, for schools. But I see in the down economy a, a struggle to really allocate and make some tough fiscal choices with our cash. And I think that when we look at it, we have to be very, very proof with how we budget. And I see that when we look towards economic development, everyone likes to talk about economic development, but we want to be sure the development that we're reaching for is what we want for our town. We know that there's places that we can do this, and we know that there's places that we can't do this. You know, there was uh, there's areas of opportunity on Route 44. There's also different kinds of development that we can look at that are atypical that generate revenue, such as senior housing. We know that Canterbury Village down on Route 219 is doing well and has low vacancy rates and is expanding as we speak. But when you look at it, I think the fundamental nature of our town is that we are a small bedroom community for Hartford and West Hartford, and we'd like to keep it that way. Two acre zoning, small commercial, nice schools, nice families, all living and working together. That's my vision, and that's what we'd like to do for you. When we moved to New Hartford, um, I think what attracted us was the bald eagle that was flying over, and uh, certainly the river, um, and the open space. Uh, there's a lot of green here, and our kids enjoy running a lot. Uh, at Browns Corners, Brody, our own home. And so any growth that has to happen, we want to keep the rural character and charm of the community that we chose to raise our family in. Um, we are in tough economic times, as you're hearing over and over, and we all know it well in our homes. Uh, so we have to be very prudent going forward, maintain a lean budget. We really want to keep New Hartford affordable for all of us, and for our seniors. Um, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. My wife and I uh, both grew up in small, uh, a small New England town. And when <clears throat> We were transferred here in 1971 from Boston. New Hartford was very attractive to us because it reminded us of the communities in which we had grown up. I think when I moved to this town, when my wife and my three children moved to this town, it had a population of around 4,000 people. We're now up to about 6,600. The town hasn't changed that much. We have grown, but the character of the town, the rural character of the town, has not changed. That much. And that's what we should preserve in New Hartford. We need to expand our tax base. Aye. But we should do it in keeping with what the people of the town want. We want to preserve the rural character. So the businesses that we invite in have to fit into that mold.